back using technology to help at-risk kids reach uh, academic success. That was the excuse me, that's what this tech fair is about for dozens of first time, uh, excuse me, a first through eighth graders going through the program. With us this morning is Dean Abram, CEO of Open World Learning, and Elijah, who is a student at Open World Learning. Thank you both for being here this morning. Dean, we'll start with you. Uh, tell us about Open World Learning and, the, and, and what's behind it. Well, Open World Learning is based on research out of MIT that discovered two things. Kids can learn to master computers, and when they do that, it really changes the way they learn everything. These kids are rock stars, and all we're trying to do is bring out that love of learning that lets them be all they can be. Now, what's the goal for it? The real goal is a combination of digital literacy skills and developing leadership, confidence, and really igniting that love of learning so the kids stay in school, and then they have choices they can make as they grow older. And Elijah, I know you're going through the school. Tell us about open world learning and what it's been like. Open World Learning is a computer program and it's really good for kids because we have great teachers, leadership, and I'm trying to pass my advance in Tech Fair. And Tech Fair is a place where you go to submit your projects to judges and if you win, this year you get a trophy. Oh wow. So what's your favorite part of the program? My favorite part is that we have good leaderships and good teachers and parties. Wow, <laughs> that's always nice. <laughs> now talk about, I mean, we live in such a technological world. I mean. Kids, I know my little sister explains a laptop to me. I mean, talk about yeah. that and the need for kids, especially at an early age, to adapt to this technology. Sure. What's really shifting is that digital literacy is moving from a nice-to-have to a must-have. Mm -hmm. There really isn't a way to get through our adult life without embracing technology, and our goal is to bring that to the kids as soon as possible. Wow. And, and, and Dean, the tech fair is coming up. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, May 12th from 10 o'clock to 2.30 at the Fritz Noble School of Hospitality Management at DU. It's open to the public. There'll be a competition of about 50 projects in about five categories and plenty of breakouts with different exciting things going on, and we welcome the public to come. And it's free, right? It's free. All right, Elijah, you're taking part. Tell us about your project. My project is Angry Birds, and I chose that project because I like the game Angry Birds a lot. It took me a while to do it because I had made a couple of mistakes so I had to go back and resubmit it. Yeah, that game's addictive, that's for sure. Elijah and Dean, thank you so much for joining us and good luck with the tech there. Thank and good you. luck to you and your project. Thank you. All right, thanks. And uh, once again, we have more information on this uh, event. It's coming up Saturday, May 12th at the University of Denver. And it's free to the public. We have more information online on our website, thedenverchannel.com. Just click on the big red TV button.